from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 469 for Thursday, December 15th, 2022. This week, we have banter, news, updates, a beauty from Cross, a new old stock from Retro, something about converters, a contest winner, a new contest, plus a lovely new Twisby that is coming soon. Hey, Steph. Hey, Brian. What did one ocean say to the other? What did one ocean say to another? Nothing. They just waved. You didn't see that coming, did you? I didn't. I was going to say, see you later, and I would have been wrong. Why do nurses carry a red pen? Why do nurses Why do nurses carry a red pen? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. In case they need to draw blood. Oh. It's like, I bet you that's probably been on a podcast, but had to bring it up. Our location bumper this week makes me hungry. We are coming from Manderfield's Bakery, which is owned and operated by the third generation of Manderfields here in Appleton. It's uh, been open for 85 years. It's been open, voted the best bakery in the Fox Valley for 18 years in 18 a row. 18 years in a row. Apparently, wow. Eric is probably there even as we speak. Well, that's why he's not. Well, that's not fair. He's supposed to be working. Hopefully, that means he's bringing us donuts. I, know. I think that's the only way. They're to fantastic. They're that. really, really, really good donuts. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, good bakery. Now that, now that I'm thinking about nothing but food. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow is also National Ugly Sweater Day. So I had to get this one out of the that's way. That's not ugly. That's yeah. not ugly. Yeah, yes, yes. That's yeah. very Tomorrow, tasteful. I'll break out the ugly one tomorrow, but... Do you have an ugly sweater? Not one that I could find. Otherwise, okay. I would have definitely okay. worn that one today. The ones you don't like, but not necessarily ugly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I could have sworn I bought one for another party. So that's today? No, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. is National Ugly Sweater Day. We've got okay. one day. <laughs> Better get to our nearest Goodwills. Hee, hee, hee. Us. Uh, apparently, they started making uh, sweaters for the purpose of Ugly Sweater Day in 1980. That was a really? company called Jingle Bell Sweaters. Really? Okay. Uh, responsible for all of those lovely moments where okay. you tell one friend that it's an ugly sweater party and not the rest. Ah, <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, yes. And uh, we've also got our year-end YouTube subscriber drive still okay, going yes. strong. We're Rumor so has it we're this close. Come on, people. I mean, this this, close. it's not that hard. Come on, just hit the. I could tell you exactly how like many be hard, but it was not very many. <laughs> so what's the, what's the goal? The goal is to have ten thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Yes. Uh, so please, please, pretty please, uh, consider subscribing. And if uh, you've already subscribed, like our video so that it gets shown to more people yes. who might in turn subscribe. Uh, and if if we do get that that ten thousand uh, dollars, Eric is somehow going to manage. Uh, for Lisa and I to do a podcast here in person right at Anderson Pens. So Woo-hoo. coming up very soon. Uh, we have some news uh, that we should talk about before we get into the fun stuff. Uh, price increases coming up January 1st for uh, a few brands. Uh, Pilot, Platinum, uh, Diplomat, uh, Execlair Products, uh, Schmidt Refills, and uh, Lamy 2000 among uh, the items that are going up in price on January 1st. I average increase amongst all those uh, typically about 17 to 20%. So uh, if there's something that you're looking at getting, uh, grabbing before the price increase, um, now is definitely the time to do it. Good to know for those Lamy 2000 yeah. Christmas yep. presents. They've been, they've mm-hmm. been uh, a little bit more popular the last couple of weeks. People are grabbing them. Uh, we do have some Hobonichi news. Uh, all dated material. So that's the Cousins, the A6 Techos. Uh, the weekly calendars, the weeks, the weeks mega are now 20% off. They were 15% off last week. The cover and the planner sets have also been separated. So now you can buy the planner and then the cover separately. Uh, and so now we'll have, you'll have more of the A6 planners available because that's what, uh, you know, we're breaking them apart. So uh, get your Hobonichi. It's 20% off now this week and uh, get them while you can. No, you can get the cover just by itself. Yeah, yeah. And if just, you if you missed a cover before, or you had something, or you want something different for your maybe your non Hobonichi, we have those A fives and A six covers. Or if you're like me, and there's always one that you need to have every single year, and you've been sitting there telling yourself, "I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't yep. need it. I need 
it. Yeah, Lisa yells at me every year. I get a new one, and then she's, well, don't you have one from last year? Well, don't. you got to get a new one every year. Yeah, I mean, so. there's so many cool ones, and we, we look at all of them, and, and eventually one just ends up falling yes, into one, your heart. Yes, one will end up, I, I still haven't picked mine out yet, but uh, that's the Hobonichi and the news. Uh, okay. Should I mention this? I'll mention this. Oh, yes. Special closure days for Anderson Penn. So uh, here at Appleton, we get the holiday season coming up. Uh, Monday, December 26th uh, for Christmas, we will be closed. And Monday, January 2nd for New Year's. Uh, Chicago's got a few more days closed, and we'll keep uh, reiterating these as they go on. Monday and Tuesday, December 26th and 27th, closed for Christmas. Uh, Monday, January 2nd for New Year's. Uh, And then uh, we will be closed, uh, AP Chicago, Sunday, January 8th. Through Friday, January 13th, resuming regular hours on the January 14th. Uh, Lisa oh. and I are actually going on a little vacation down to what? her mother's in Florida, yes, for a few days. So uh, the store will be closed. January is typically a slow month anyway, and uh, it's cold and wintry, and Florida's the perfect time to go to Florida. Hot and sunny, and her house is right across from the beach. So. Uh, so those are those are new uh, special closure days uh, for Anderson Pens and AP Chicago. Well, congratulations on the vacation plans and good luck. I hope it's not as bad as the last one I took. So I was going to say I remember that was difficult last <laughs> it was, time. It was challenging. So. <laughs> no, it's going to be great. Uh, uh, see Lisa's uh, mom and her brother, uh, and he's a, he's a good guy. So. Uh, and at the end of the podcast, we have Guess the Pen in My Pocket. It's an easy one this I, week. Even I know it this even time. Even you know what this it's is. clearly a Lamy 2000. Clearly. What does a gingerbread man put on his bed? A cookie sheet. We've got a Cross Century 2 Rollerball in black with gold Just trim in. that is new and exciting. Uh that has the style and class of the Cross Classic Century that many of us has re- have received as graduation gifts, and but with a bolder look and a wider girth for a yeah. more comfortable yeah. writing experience. This is a really nicely weighted pen. I really it's enjoy nice the size. way that it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, this one has a matte black finish on both the cap and the barrel. It's actually shiny. Oh yeah. Actually. Yeah. I'm going to use this to cross out the word matte. Perfect. And the refill looks great. <laughs> the refill <laughs> works great. <laughs> so it is a shiny black finish on both the cap and the barrel, accentuated by that shiny gold plated trim. And yeah, can't be it's just It's just that. really classic. So if you're looking for something, uh, you know, a black and gold kind of standard uh, rollerball pen for some, that's personal on your Christmas gift, this is, you know, it's, it's not super flashy. It's very classy. Uh, nice weight, nice size. Um, cross classic century two, so century two, not classic century, century two. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but it awesome. is classic. Yes, awesome. Mm-hmm. Also, just in. Oh, this is gonna take a little explaining. This is kind of different. Uh, I was gonna say use the word weird, but it's a little bit different. Uh, we came across a stash. Uh, we're gonna call these. These are Anderson Consulting pens. So these are Retro Fifty One Tornado. Vintage classic lacquer roller balls. Now, what do I mean by vintage? Do you know what I mean by vintage? You don't know what I mean by vintage. I mean, we have not. I know this. what. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> these are. This is a trick question. This this is not a trick question. Uh, these are available in red, blue, and green. So I've got the red one here. These are your classic, uh, the blue and green, your your classic colors with the chrome trim. Uh, and these uh, were made. These are new old stock from 1997 to 1998. Uh, based on the the logo, and the model was actually at the time called the Vintage. Oh, it's so not called the the Tornado. It's called the Vintage. I don't know if it was the Vintage Tornado, but it says Vintage right on the top above the clip. Um, and then of course they have this colored disc, um, but uh, it's engraved on the ring, and they were screen imprinted for Anderson Consulting, um, which uh, unfortunately they spelled their name wrong. They should have spelled it with an O. That would have been okay. Uh, We've tried to we tried to remove these 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 imprints can be removed with a little elbow grease um, and nail polish remover if you like, um, but uh, it took us a little bit of effort to do this. We said, you know what, we we'll just we'll sell them in, inexpensive. They come with a, a tube, a metal tube, the original. Now these when these came to us, unfortunately, they got damaged in shipping, so almost every single one has some kind of dents, dents and or something dings. in the tube. Yep, yep, makes them. So they are, they are what they are. We'll try to get you the nicest one as possible. But um, uh, 
we did include, of course, the, the refills from 97, 98 are, mm-hmm. are, 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 were bad. So we were including a brand new refill. So um, these are essentially you're paying 10, less than 10 bucks for the pen. I was going to say, that, getting means, a new refill, so. that means this pen is a really good and deal. It, if your last mm-hmm. name is Anderson with an E, then you're in luck. So, And if it's an Anderson with an O and you have a really, really <laughs> tiny piece of you wanna like. Do, you want to do that for me? Yeah, just you know, get rid of the line on that e, close up that e, the rest of that l- circle. Nobody will ever know. We'll just draw a little square yeah, on the a. Yeah, you, you're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can write out a refill faster than I'm <laughs> taking to do that. So anyway, just 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 something different. Uh, you know, twenty. Uh, I guess it's almost twenty five year old uh, uh, retro fifty one, brand new. Yeah, are these Super the cool. original three colors that they came up with? Uh, they did that original. They did the, the origin, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't. That's a good question. I don't know mm-hmm. if these are or not. So, huh. we have a contest. Aha! Uh-huh. Yes, last week we asked which of the Kuratake Meiji no Yuro inks is your favorite color. Whew, I got through. Okay. That. <laughs> and <laughs> there are six inks to choose from. Two of them were the clear favorites, and the other four ranked as follows. Uh, Kujaku Ryoku was 14%. That's the, the winner? That was uh, oh. one of the one of the four that did not win, but I okay. think it was the winner of the... The fo- winner of the follow-up. losers? Yes. <laughs> the, and Ibicha uh, was 13%. Araishu was 9%. Oh. Shimbashi Iro got 4%. Apologies to anybody who speaks Japanese and can reala- re- can hear how badly I'm butchering these names. I always... You're probably not too far off. Yeah. The, uh, and our two winners were Kuragana Iro and Shikan. Their stats were both 30%. 30%. Wow. Okay. Although, technically, that's a rounding error tie because Kuragana Iro actually received one more vote than one Shikan. One more vote. Okay. All right. But... But the percentages are rounded out to the same. Okay, well, so. can't, I can't wait to see them when they come in. Yeah, that Kurigane is the winner by a nose, by nose. drop. Or a drop, a nose drop? Yeah. Ooh, not by a nose drop. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, couple, couple comments of note. <laughs> Tim Chi says, Kuritake Inc., what kind of witchcraft is this now? Christmas miracles. Christmas miracles. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lisa Anderson. Yes, in fact, the Lisa wow. Anderson. Voted for Kujaku <laughs> Ryoku. Such a calm, relaxing oh, blue. Yes. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Arabella Hopesapful says, welcome back, Eric. Eric says, thank you. Good to be back. All of those Kurataki inks are beautiful, but I, and I can't seem to take my eyes off of the Shikan. So that one's my favorite. Thank you for asking, and happy holidays. Nice. Jennifer C. said, loved the new pen geek out, like kids in a candy store. <laughs> <laughs> For my favorite color of Kuratake Meiji no Yuro ink, my heart and first ink instinct says Shikan, but I do already have 11d4 purple inks. So 11d4? Have... How does she spell that? 11d4. That's, I think that's, that's got to be the official spelling. I okay. like. <laughs> nice. So I'd probably go with Kuragana Yuro. Uh, only have about three teal inks, and that one looks nice and dark. Who am I fooling? Did I fool you? I'd probably get them both. Nice. That is the right answer, Jennifer. It's true. See, and Peggy Love says, "Just for Eric, my favorite Kuratake ink is the Shikan. I somehow imagine this is also the one he likes." And Eric would like you to know that you are absolutely correct. He has been <laughs> in the market for a new purple, and Shikan is absolutely his favorite. Though he mentioned the the, the dusty teal of Kuragana Iro during the podcast, the first one that he is going for in real life is definitely Shikan. Okay. I can confirm. I heard him say it with my own ears. With your own eyes? With my own eyes is absolutely what I was thinking. <laughs> Who's our winner this week? We got a winner? Yes, our winner is Zap. Zap. He should win just he or she should win just on the basis of the name alone. I know, right? That's a catchy that's name. Cool. Mm, he agrees with Eric. That explains why he <laughs> yes, the, I no. think that's I think that's how these people are picked. If they mention <laughs> Eric's name, you get higher chance of winning. You know, even though I have participated in the random selection. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, always turns out it's, it's a winner, so. Um, he, All right, so Zaps, what does Zap say? He says uh, he agrees with Eric and that the Kurigana Iro ink is stunning. So Zap, please write to Eric at AndersonPens.com so he, uh, that he can get that $20 credit placed on your Anderson Pens account. That is Eric at AndersonPens.com. 
All right, we have some additional comments. Elizabeth Moulton, I am so glad I found your podcast. As are we, Elizabeth. Thank you very much. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Uh, and that was, an additional, that was an additional comment, I guess, not yes. comments. Uh, we have a new contest and survey. And then next, this time, Eric filled it out for us. All right. Uh, next Wednesday is the official start of winter in the Northern Hemisphere, specifically the Equinox takes place at 3.47 p.m. Central Time on that day. In honor of the season that shall not be named, please suggest a good winter ink in the comments section of this video. A good winter ink. It's got to be a got to be a sailor of some sort. I was thinking maybe even one, two, three, kind of a sailor's gentle pigmented black to match my amount You're, of enthusiasm oh, wow, for wow. The, the season that shall not be named. Uh, Eric, <laughs> Eric is already suggesting... <laughs> that's weird. Urban Grease Noir saying it's basically winter in a bottle. That's uh, fair. Uh, let us, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Uh, okay. One comment will be chosen to win a $20 credit to your Anderson Pence account. What do you call a snowman on rollerblades? The snowmobile. Ooh, and coming soon. <laughs> Sorry, too much enthusiasm to dial it back. I'm not excited at all. You're, you're going to have to run with this one because you probably know more than I do. Oh, my goodness. I'm really excited for this pen, legitimately. It's the Tw Twisby Eco Tea Royal Limited Edition Jade in Rose Gold that comes with a midnight blue bottle of, uh, of Twisby ink. And it's just... It's such a gorgeous pen. Twisby has knocked it out of the park with this limited edition and ink combination. So when it comes in a new box, it's got a little bottle yeah, of it's ink. It's a little fancy, yeah. It's got more rose gold on it than previous versions of the, the Eco Tea in rose gold. Um, the like turning knob is the, that rose gold color and the trim and everything. They've It looks cool. They, yeah. they do a nice job in anything they do with the rose gold on sells. It's, oh. it's amazing. There and and it looks really nice with that like midnight. It's like a Christmas green, but it definitely. Okay. I mean, it doesn't. I think. Yeah, I would. I would not hesitate to use it in February. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is so like all of the Twisby Eco T line. This is a piston filling mechanism, a screw on cap, a smooth writing steel nib that is available in extra fine fine, medium broad, and one point one stub. Um, the Eco T is different from the Eco in that it has that slice, slightly more pronounced grip section, um, more of a triangular grip, designed to help with learning correct writing posture for children, also for grabbing your pen in the right direction if you're not looking at it. It's very minimal, though. It's very... The difference between the regular Eco and Eco T is so minimal. I mm -hmm. Sometimes I wonder why there are two, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, and this one is unique in that it comes with that bo uh, 18 milliliter bottle of ink. So you've got everything you need to start writing right out of the box. Probably two. really good for Christmas it's, presents. It's too. a limited edition too, from what I understand. So oh, neat! When, when it sells out, it's it's done. So very cool, very cool. So pre-sales on that are beginning Monday, December 19th. Okay. And we're shipping on Pick up Wednesday. The 21st. Yep, Wednesday the 21st. Wednesday yep. the 21st. So awesome. So. Very cool stuff on the horizon. Uh, I, I guess I guess you're gonna leave me this, this exciting bit of news here. Oh yeah, uh, coming soon. Uh, we've been out of this for quite a while. Uh, Cross has uh, finally come around to uh, a new converter. Uh, so they used to have two converters, the eighty-seven fifty-one and the eighty-seven fifty-six. I think was the other one. Uh, was the threaded converter. The screw-in converter has been discontinued. Uh, and this new converter, which is also being branded as the 8751, which is slightly confusing, uh, will fit both threaded and non-threaded cross pens. It should supposed to fit everything. Uh, this replaces all the old converters, and it should fit all current cross and, and probably most uh, older cross pens. So that is coming, finally. Uh, they were having some issues trying to get those made, and they were going to come out in January or February, and then they they, they found some. So uh, if you've been waiting for a cross converter, uh, they're coming. So should be any any day now. One converter to rule them all. One converter to rule. <laughs> yes, at least, right? Uh, That's a I, great idea. That Wouldn't that be great if there was only one style? One converter, one cartridge. Ooh. Now we're asking too much. Yeah. Should we do that? Let's. Let's. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us.
Be sure to tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Don't forget there is a store in Chicago. It's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Open seven days a week. Who will you see there? That would be Lisa. You'll find her. And the website for Chicago is chicago.andersonpens.com. And uh, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. And the pen in my pocket. And now there's now there's two two things on the screen that so we don't forget. Ah. Platinum 3776 celluloid. Darn. Koi. You were so close with the Lamy so 2000. So. <laughs> no, one of my one of my favorite platinums. So that's it for this week. 